Hi there, welcome back to Colorado and Company. The Mask Project is a very unique and creative event in Denver that supports the Denver Hospice. Masks will be on display for auction and you can place your bids online starting September 12th. We get right to the conversation with guest Sean Gorgon and also Susan Law, welcome. Thank you, we're very excited to be here. Wow, these are some really amazing masks we're gonna talk about in just a few minutes and find out who the artists are. But first, I think we should start at the beginning. What's the project and what, what is the goal for the project, Sean? Well, I'll tell you, we're very, very excited. This is a biannual event in that it takes place every two years. So 2016 is a huge year for the Denver Hospice in that we get to hold the Mass Project once again. This year, as in years past, we will be partnering with the Cherry Creek Shopping Center and the exhibit will be on display from September the 12th through October the 9th. Great. How, how many masks? We'll have over 500 masks on display. Oh my. And then we only have a certain amount of room on display, but all the masks that we do receive will go online so that every mask that wants to participate in this fundraiser will have an opportunity to receive a bid. Okay, so that's how we bid on the Absolutely. masks too. This is such a creative and unique event. How did it get started? Well, we have a remarkable board of directors, as you can see by yeah. Susan Law is yes. here with us as well, but we have another member on our board who was doing some traveling abroad, saw a fundraiser very similar to this, said that's what we need to do for the Denver Hospice. Mm -hmm. So he brought the idea back to Colorado in 1998, and so we've been doing this event for every two years since 1998. It's so much fun, I love it. We get to see how creative our favorite people are in the community. And Susan, why is the Mass Project so important to Colorado and also Denver Hospice? I'm so excited you asked me that. <laughs> um, I am privileged to be a board member and also a volunteer in our uh, care center in Lowry. And this project is so important to us because all the funds go directly to our special services and programs that serve the Denver community for the last 38 mm -hmm. years and over 70,000 families. Wow. And what's exciting about that is the, the, the services we can offer only with these funds. And I have one to share with you. If oh, please you're do, yes. Okay, so about a few years ago, I was very involved both in the Lowry Care Center uh, with the families, but also in children's grief services. And I was involved in a three to five year old group mm -hmm. where children and myself and the professional counselor sat. And the three and five year old in their own special words tried to share how much they miss their mom Aww. or the death of their brother. And um, it's amazing how they grew in that safe space to mm -hmm. begin to deal with their anger, their loss. And it's these kind of special services that we can continue with because of funds from this project. I can see, yeah, I can see emotionally this affects you and you've done so many good things for those children. Thank you for sharing that yeah. story and thank you for all the work that you will do. So just think, if you purchase one of these masks that are autographed by some of your favorite celebrities, you can help a little girl, just like Susan said, get over the grief of losing her mom or maybe her brother. We have some of the masks here on set from yes. Nine News personalities, yes. Sean. You know what, actually, let's start with the ones in the front. These okay. are national celebrities. Absolutely. So we were very fortunate to work with some of our friends over at the Olympic Center in Colorado Springs right before everyone left for Brazil. <gasps> and so we had the opportunity to make a connection with both Michael Phelps and Katie Ledecky, who obviously wow. did very, very well, well this year. Mm -hmm. but Katie we, Ledecky. Yes. Nice. And those masks are right here in front. So we we commission artists to paint those masks for us and then we ultimately have Michael and Katie and other celebrities from around the country help us by increasing the value of those masks. Very nice, they're up for bid. We have about a minute left, so I quickly okay. wanna run through these and then get to the luncheon. This one over here is by Kathy Sabin. Beautiful. Gorgeous, we have Victoria Sanchez right here. That one is Kathy Sabin that you're looking at right now. Uh, Victoria Sanchez is the gold one. Adele Arakawa is the black one right here, it's so beautiful. Kim Christensen did Colorado Proud with this one. Remember, you can go to themaskproject.org. And now let's talk about the luncheon. Okay, so, to culminate this month-long display at the Cherry Creek Shopping Center, we will have a luncheon featuring a, a nationally acclaimed author Mitch Album. Those of you that are familiar with that, Mitch Album know that he wrote a very popular book named Tuesdays with Maury, mm -hmm. and that book is primarily about conversations he has with a gentleman named Maury, and really what it means to approach the end of life, and how you look at the end of life. Is it a process that is scary and unknowing, or can it be just a wonderful, comforting, special process? Right. And 
as Mitch talked about that in his book, that'll really be the theme of his conversation when he comes to our luncheon as well. Thank you very of much course. for coming on the show and giving us a sneak peek in all the work that you've done. Thank you. This is fantastic. We're going to be showcasing different masks on our set over the next several days, and you can be an important part by bidding on your favorite to support the compassionate work of the Denver Hospice. All of the masks will be on full display September 12th through October 9th in the Cherry Creek Shopping Center. Please bid on your favorites and attend the Mask Project Luncheon. That's September 12th. 28th, again with featured guest, Tuesdays with Maury, author Mitch Album. All the information is just a click away. Go to this website, go to themaskproject.org. Stay with us, we'll be right back.